Yo, what is up, you guys? Hope y'all been partying like every day is your birthday, because we got another one for you guys today. It is Fem Request Friday, another one for the books. You guys already know we here pretty much every Friday. You guys, it is officially no Nick November. You guys know we switching that shit up, bro. Y'all put the cancer sticks down. You better not have lost already. Bro, if you can't go 30 days without Nick, then you really just addicted, bro. You could come up with any other excuse for it, but you're really just addicted. So if you, you know, if you the type of person that, you know, oh, I'm not addicted, I just enjoy doing it. Well, let's put it to the test, man. Let's put it to the test. But we do have another video you guys requested by you. We got another, well, I'm only going to do nine videos today. Y'all, it is already 4.30 and we just restarted courting. I had a friend over, you know what I'm saying, ended up staying the night and i wasn't able to start recording you know what i'm saying i'm not gonna you know i'm not i'm not a shitty host bro i'm not gonna start recording when i have a homie you know over that's just messed up so we have a lot we have to take care of and get done before the end of the night so we you know we're gonna be working our ass off to, to just do what we got to do so without further ado we're gonna get right to this good goop video summer anime 2020 in a nutshell man it, summer's already all come and gone it really is is it's almost Christmas, y'all. Tis the season. I love me some Christmas. I can't wait for Christmas. But hey, on the road to 10K fo May. I hope you guys like and subscribe for free. And let's see what we're working with with this Gugu video, man. Exercise caution about what? Whoa, is this about COVID? We're all doomed, aren't we? What? <laughs> and what? No. Dear. Ah. Yes. Oh my God. What? No. <laughs> Bro, that baby got a deeper vocab than me and a whole ass set of hair. And now I know it is possible for babies to come out the womb, you know what I'm saying, with a full ass set of hair, but they don't usually come out with vocal cords and a full vocab, but... I do wonder to myself, at what point does the series become so over the top that even though it plays it completely straight, it just becomes satire? Is it when your overpowered protagonist is casually eating a castle into fucking Narnia? Or is it <laughs> what when your the overpowered protagonist wants to flex on his opponent so hard that he beats him to death with a literal heartbeat? Yo, we just saw this for Demon King Academy literally yesterday. That shit was crazy, man. That shit was no joke. The Demon King don't play. <laughs> And then he just go and experience Requiem's him so he can do it again. This is the biggest power fantasy trash I've seen in a while. I love it. The show does <laughs> pretend to be something it's not, and it's great. Half the time, I don't know whether I should be impressed or laughing at how ridiculously overpowered the protagonist is. And he's only like a month old too. What, what the fuck? Is there Wait, anything he can't what? do? What? This man is a month old. Bro, he's going to be looking... 999 years old when he's like one why i love it the show doesn't even try to pretend to be something it's not and it's great half the time i don't know whether i should be <laughs> impressed or laughing at how ridiculously overpowered the protagonist is man has no like chill a month old too what what the fuck is there anything he can't do anos voldigode is officially the giga chad of 2020 this man just does it all the when giga anos chad was born, he drove his mum home when he makes a tasteless joke twitter makes an apology video he can fuck your girl without losing his virginity because what never Losers. This man is so okay. <laughs> to be true to a feeling. <laughs> That's no chill. Episode. He's too dangerous to be left alive. You I'm tell him, bro. Kind of just gloss over all the sequels to make room for more of the new shows. But um, well, here are all the new anime from winter 2020. Here are all the new anime from spring 2020. And here are all the new anime for summer. I hope he zooms in a little bit, bro. I got negative 250 vision. That shit is blurry as hell. I can't see that. 2020. Yeah. Hey, RE0. Damn, she got some cool little eyes, bro. I'm not even gonna lie. Oh, man, it's been 
so many years and I've memed it so much. I forgot it was a legitimate plot point. Three zero is finally back and it's got no chill. Jesus, what the fuck is going Whoa. on? Whoa! It's now been four years since the original series aired and all it needed was four minutes to remind me, holy hell, I miss this goddamn show. Just in the first two episodes, it's pretty much dealing with the main- Dude, she pieced that original. shit. The world and characters of ReZero always felt super interesting, but- Wait a minute, bro. Hold, hold the phone. Did, did some, uh, did, uh, uh, am I tripping and sipping, bro? Yo, don't this look just like the girl from Hunter x Hunter that trains Kilua and Gon? Tell me that shit don't low key spit facts. Characters of ReZero always felt super interesting. Is her titties glowing? Big overarching plot to tie it all together. What kind of titty old like bitty she got, bro? This is looking like it could way exceed the first season. And if you have any interest in ReZero at all, your hype level should be off the charts. Okay. 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 Who it seems in a last ditch effort for the fight for best girl has resorted to the domestic girlfriend Coma Strat. Origairu season three is also here. I'm hype. Or at least I would be if I had finished season two. Oh yeah, I was gonna go through my plan to watch this during quarantine, wasn't I? Dang. I why that didn't happen. Where the fuck did all my time go? The thing I like about <laughs> shows is that everyone comes in Whoa. with their own expectations. Everyone this this kind of look cool, decadent. Where the fuck did all my time? That go? shit blew in a 440 like at this whip, bro. Is that everyone comes in with zero expectations. Everyone is on equal footing. We all have zero idea what kind of ride we're about to get on, and we all get to be equally surprised. Decadence is a new anime original coming from wow. the Mob Psycho season one and two, and on the outset, it seems to be something like Mad Max and the Franks with a little bit of Attack on Titan sprinkled in. It's a post-apocalyptic setting with monsters, which we've seen before. So as I was just waiting for that one hook to get me invested to hop on this ride, a fucking city transforms into a giant fist and then just one punches this kaiju out of existence and i was like all right respect you got my <laughs> fucking attention but then to top things <laughs> off it throws this dog it in does the look let's go to whoa. space scale twist right on episode two that completely what the, the shit setting on its head apparently the entire dude this thing looks like it got some nice low little artwork style variety you know what i mean like look at this artwork Top things off it throws this darling in the franks let's go to space scale twist right on episode two that completely flips the entire setting on its head apparently now look at this artwork bro this like here looked like some ricky and morty type of stuff man i'm messing with this these flying saucers or are they just really fancy dinner tables the world may never know. We gotta watch this. The entire this. world is some kind of avatar type theme park for these alien Whoa! things. And all Yo! It's Penny from Gumball! And it's and it's the flower from Gumball. Yo, it's Penny and the flower from Gumball. We have to watch this shit, bro. If if I see Darwin pop up, that's probably him right there. We gotta watch this, man. Things, we gotta watch this. To that fact. This is definitely one of the most unique setups I've seen, but with so many things going on, this has the potential to be one of the most interesting ideas that's been pulled off all year, or an absolute clusterfuck. Either way, I'm excited for the ride. In the culture corner, we have Peter Grill, the world's strongest fighter who only wants to do one thing, saving his chastity for the one true love of his life. And the only thing standing in his way is a flurry of sexy anime women after his seat. Bro, what? <laughs> what, bro? My man, so the whole thing is my man trying to keep his virginity? Bro. Bro. Mission bro. failed. He Success. definitely failing, bro. This year, we've somehow gone from hentai sitcom to NTR comedy. And you know, it's somewhat refreshing now, but edgy anime aren't afraid to explore the topic of their protagonist having full-blown intercourse, even if that does blur the line even further. But you know what? After interspecies reviewers, I think I finally found the line between I can't believe it's not hentai and actual hentai. Instead of ugly bastards, we just keep seeing lucky bastards. Your accent <laughs> is very unique. It's like, uh... We are jumble of different dialects. Where did you even learn that? It's time for Luna's English class. Bro, I didn't know I was going to have to do a test or some shit, bro. Oh my god, bro. All right, y'all get ready to learn, man. Different dialects. Where did you even learn that? I wish I had an accent, though. I was going to say, bro, I would... Yo, I would love to have, like, an England accent, mate. You know what I'm saying? I would love to just be able to... Talk like this for forever. I just I, I mess with accents, bro. I wish I had a little something something, bro. I just got this boring ass, ugly ass, stinky little booty ass, lame ass accent, man. This shit trash.
Ooh, now this he shit and die. Okay, wait a minute, man. If they taught that in class, bro, I would I would go way more. How how you pronounce it? Ooh, now this one looks good. So Netflix here in Japan have released the first 14 episodes of The Great Pretender, which Whoa? basically follows a group of con artists traveling around the world scamming people. The first story arc <laughs> that sounds fire as shit. A drug lord into spending millions of dollars to buy a new drug that doesn't actually exist. That's coke. This oh, that's like Crystal Meth? The heist movie and Steven Spielberg's Catch Me If You Can. It's incredibly refreshing, not only to see a concept you don't normally see. Oh my, but such a she's cracked out on that meth. Reminiscent to 80s Hollywood. Singapore, London, Shanghai, Tokyo. We start off in LA, but the show will be staged around the world, and I am absolutely hyped. This is one show I'll actually probably wait to be dubbed, since there's even a segment that explains that the characters are actually speaking English. Also, the ED is actually the original Great Pretender sung by Freddie Mercury. Where else can you say you've seen a Freddy Mercury? Song sung by Freddy freaking Mercury. Bro, nah, that shit was kind of going hard to that horn beat. But hey, man, that looks absolutely great. The Great Pretender. Hey, I love... Well, I guess it's not really... I love, though, like, cop type of shows like that i know it's not a cop type of show but they're scamming there's probably gonna be police involved i think it could have a really really amazing storyline to that the artwork looked pretty snazzy in it that could be a really big watch for uh holy shit we're talking about 2020 that shit's probably already bends out bruh yeah, this video is a year old. Oh, yeah, this shit is... We might need to check this out, bro. It has a song sung by Freddie freaking Mercury. <laughs> Continuing the next train, the uh, just dropped the entirety of Japan some, from Iwasa, following the tragic story of a family trying to survive the biggest natural disaster the world has ever seen. And you've got Damn. exactly what you can expect from a series like this. Desolate scenes of a country ravaged by disaster, the horrors of losing your loved ones and trying to fight to survive, a wheelchair bound grandpa that's fucking 360 no scoping people that's <laughs> got Kill Bill scandal. Yo! Of Japan. Yo, Gramps is off the chain, man. That man, bro, he definitely pimped out his little, you know, Walmart shopping cart That's right here, bro. 360 no scoping people with a bloody bow and arrow. He's got Kill Bill standoffs. There's a bloody weed farm in the middle of Japan. It's got a sex. weed it's farm? Got I'm watching this, bro. Japan sinks. Yo, this is this is the next show I'm watching, bro. A weed farm? Oh, hell yeah. What more do you need in a show than a weed farm and a little grandpa 360 no scope and people with a bow and arrow? People with a bloody bow and arrow. It's got Kill Bill standoffs. There's a bloody weed farm in the middle of Japan. It's got sex. It's got action. It's got drugs. So, yeah. Everything you can expect. Bro, from Japan show. sinks? Sounds like a oh, banger. Best comedy anime of 2020 so far. He's like, only in oh! be able to make a show about to that was my boy's first and last words. I was about to say, bro, he hasn't talked yet. That man looks like he's 25. The anime of 2020. Oh, so my. He got murked off, though. <laughs> a miracle just to get merged. About a group of high school teenagers to gain superpowers from erotic energy, fighting invading aliens who want to drain all the thought energy in the world. Yes, that what? is the plot of the show. I am not making this up. We literally have Power Rangers fueled by the strength of Horny on Main, or as I like to call it. Hentai Sentai. This is one of those shows that has an uncensored version to accompany it, if you know what I'm saying. But I mean, how about what? it be? <laughs> I Bro. apologize for that. Even for me, this is a little bit too much degeneracy. Disgusting! That's him, ladies! That's <laughs> a show about them trying to, what do you say, steal the horny out of each other, bro? Oh, my... Man, I mean, I, I, I do love me some anime, bro, and I love me some originality, but <laughs> that is a little far, bro. That shit is a little far. That's the guy. Subscribe to Bell Delphine's OnlyFans. <laughs> What? what seems to be Umaru Chan 2.0? Do anime people have OnlyFans? Where do I go and find that? I'm kidding, y'all, bro. If you buy someone's OnlyFans, bro, I'm gonna let you know you are the most down bad mofo in the world, bro. You paying for pictures that you could literally probably get off their Instagram, bro. Like, what? What? But no, for real, someone let me know what that is, bro. 
We have what seems to be Umaru-chan 2.0. Mega Milk Edition. Looks like a nice little wholesome show. I don't know what it is about smug anime girls bullying male characters that seems to be getting anime adapted. I know, bro. It's because we can't... Oh, oh give him the hands, bro. Because if we just take a screenshot and analyze it, you can almost hear them laughing at all the Komi fans on Suicide Watch. Overall, I'm very much looking forward to this anime. Not because I'm going to watch it. I just have a feeling this will go in the categories of shows I never finish, but will read every doujinshi because for some reason they're all fucking amazing. <clears throat> You know, everyone's going to be talking about how SAO returns in the most... Wow! SAO way possible. What you know, are we... From that, Whoa! Seems, let me just fill you in a bro, way, Siri. Every time I, I think this shit looks cool, bro. This shit looks cool. Someone getting, you know, unconsensualized the touch, bro. Oh my... I can't be watching this shit in my living room. My family's going to be popping out there looking at me like... Bro, if you want to watch... You better get your ass in your bro. SAO way possible. This you looks know, like some Teen Titan so type stuff, bro. If you know, what you know. Right now. The Americans have flooded a server with drones of American gamers of this top secret VR game that's being used to develop an AR that could possibly run the American military. And the only thing that can stop them from doing so is Kirito and the girls uniting the Japanese gamers to flood the servers on their ends and preventing the Americans from getting their hands on this AI that could change the world. Damn. That's right. The plot of SAO is now, literally, unironically, gamers rise up. And it's great. How can you not love this? How is this not the peak SAO we all wanted it to be? Kirito being AFK as a vegetable in a wheelchair, still getting more girls than any of us ever will. It's gotten so bad that even the harem has become self-aware. Sinon then he's AFK? Dad, exuding big dick energy, exerting dominance right Bro, my man is AFK in a wheelchair and he's getting groped. Oh my, someone called this man social services, so bad, bro. Even the harem has become self-aware. Sinon being a pure chad, exuding big dick energy, exerting dominance right in front of Kirito's gamer girl wife. And they even gave Klein a badass moment. Fucking Klein! Shut up, Kirito. Come back to me when you're a main character. Continue shooting on SAO if you need. Continue shooting on Kirito. I don't mind. I'm having a great fucking time over here. What the hell? This game is a rare sack. Rent a girlfriend? More oh like. my. Rent a girlfriend, bro. This one pisses me off, bro. I don't know why. Rent a girlfriend blows me. This man is paying like $300 a day for a female. Y'all, that's $2,100 a week. My boy is down bad, bro. I don't care if. I don't care who it is, bro. I don't care if my fluffing. I don't even know, bro. I don't care if anybody in a shoemate. I don't care if Summer Rae. I don't care if literally any female, bro. Charlie Demille. I don't care if any female in the world came up to me, bro. Trying to be my girlfriend for $300. I would not pay them shit. I don't care who you are. You could be literally the most beautiful girl in the whole world, bro. And you is not getting no sh money, money from me, man. $300. And you know what's even sadder? There's people in this world that pay people $300 a day. I guarantee you. There's people who probably pay $300 for toe pigs. I got this. Just it's always the dumbasses with money, bro. Simping, am I right? <laughs> Here's the newest rom-com to arrive in the anime scene where the premise is literally in the title. Dude just straight up pays a girl for some pure, unadulterated, unprotected hand-holding. Disgusting! Which is basically the premium OnlyFans exclusive tier where she pretends to be your girlfriend for a few hours and then anime stuff happens. While this may look like your bog standard harem anime, there's something about it that just works. Maybe it's the premise itself, maybe it's the fact that it's set in college for once and the characters actually act like horny teens who think about sex, or maybe it's the fact that Chizuru is so clearly best girl that I don't even need to see any of the other prospects to pledge my allegiance and enlist to fly off into battle for her. <laughs> that was immediately addicted This to man Gagooki sound bad, shows, bro. I'm probably just gonna immediately binge the manga. Finally topping things off, we have God of High School, following from Tower of God as the second Webtoons anime ad. Adaptation. This time about a martial arts tournament that's held in Seoul where the winner gets- Oh, this shit look fire. And, um... Whoa, any wish they desire? Now that's a tough one. If you guys had one wish in the world, if you someone said you could wish for anything you want, except more wishes, don't be the one dude who ruins the fun. Oh, I would just wish for unlimited wishes. Okay, but it's, it's, uh, it's not real. So if you could only actually pick one, 
Which one would you guys choose, bro? I don't even know. Honestly, I would vote. Actually, bro, you know what I would do? Ooh, bro. I would make my own. I would wish to have my own planet created. Like one that's inhabitable. You know what I'm saying? Like we could live on. And also get to, but I'm the owner of it, bro. So I would have, you know, first off, you don't have to wish for money because you're rich. Second off, well, we're the owner of it. So we can easily build our community of world changes, bro. You know, we could we can make that place absolutely great. And uh, yeah, that's what I'm wishing for. I don't know about y'all, but that's what I'm wishing for. Let me know in the comments what y'all would spend your one wish. Where the winner gets granted any wish they desire and... um. That's it? You're telling me this anime is just one massive martial arts tournament? And what, it's just gonna be a series of well animated and hyped- <laughs> Bro, this looks like some shit you would see off of Mortal Kombat. She hit her with a hum and then just popped her gun. You're telling me this anime is just one Fatality. massive martial arts tournament? And what, it's just gonna be a series of well animated and hyped <laughs> That's it. That's the show. My man is reading the book while whooping ass. And he's got, gotta catch up on the Great Gatsby. I said I wasn't going to shout it anymore. It's a dead meme now. But maybe, maybe there is only one way I can possibly describe this show. Oh my. Yeah, I mean, it was right. That was pretty good. If it actually lives up to the hype, I'll shout it out again. Yo, that is gonna be it for the first video of the day, man. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Gagook bringing us some heat as always. I appreciate whoever sent me that. You guys, we are on the road. It's NK. So I would love if you guys join our community of world changes. If not, you know it's all okay. And I do hope you have a great day. Man, I'm hoping we have some great videos. I know, I, you know, I've seen a few of the titles. I do think a few of them are gonna be heat. But uh, we'll see if this is one of the best reaction days we've had. And, uh, man, 2020 anime. It's crazy, bro, that all of these are already probably out and some. They're honestly probably all uh, either have a new season coming out or already out. So there is some that I do want to check out. Let me know which one was also y'all's favorite one on the list. I'm thinking, bro, that uh, Japan Sink or Sink Japan, Japan Sinks, that shit looks fire, man. I'm not gonna lie, bro. Japan Sinks might have to be the one I check out, but uh, I guess we'll have to see. If you guys have seen any, let me know how good they are, you know, especially Japan Sinks. Someone, someone let me know. But y'all be easy. Make sure to have a fantastic day today, and I'll see you at the next one. Deuces, man.